would you like to say something about your visit uh, to Mexico before we start yeah. well, this, this is, press conference? Yeah, this is Please. our first time, so I just wanted to tell you how excited we are to be here, and thank you so much for uh, having us here. And uh, we're ready to play a show for you guys tomorrow. Um, this gold record is amazing. Thank you guys and thank you to all the fans. It's awesome to see what type of support we have down here that we already have a gold record and this is our first time. Thank you. Nos da mucho gusto recibir este disco de oro. Muchas gracias a los fans. Muchas gracias a todos ustedes. Es mucho, es muy reconfortante recibir este tipo de apoyo aquí en México. Uh, I would like to know what's your opinion because there have been a lot of comparisons with you to the Jonas Brothers and now the Jonas are making a pause to focus on their solo career. Do you think it's time for you guys to consolidate your career? And what, do, what would you say that makes your work to stand out from the rest of similar bands? Um, well, we're as far as we're concerned, we're just getting started, and uh, we only plan on going up from here, and we would like to come back to Mexico and play a stadium on our own and headline it, and uh, I don't really think we're planning on stopping anytime soon. I think we're going to put all efforts into Big Time Rush until the very end. And we have nothing but love for the Jonas Brothers. They worked very hard to be where they're at, um, but right now we, you know, in the future we'll do our own thing, but we're all sticking with Big Time Rush for a long time. Bueno, la pregunta tenía que ver con lo que opinan en términos de las comparaciones que se ha hecho entre ellos y el grupo de Jonas Brothers, y en el sentido de que ellos ahora que están en causa eh, y que ellos sí van a, a aprovechar esta oportunidad en este momento. Eh, bueno, eh, él menciona que ellos piensan que simplemente están iniciando su carrera y que piensan continuar, que realmente tienen respeto hacia los Jonas Brothers y que esperan regresar pronto a México ellos solos para poder llegar a un estadio y tener un Sí. Eh, James, por su lado, dice que eh, él piensa que le da mucho gusto, no tiene más que palabras de agradecimiento y respeto para los Jonas Brothers, pero ellos están, estamos aquí para hacerlo un largo rato aquí. Por ahora todos nuestros esfuerzos estarán dedicados a Big Ten Rush. Sí, también. Hello, guys. Welcome to Mexico. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hello. We, we'd like to know if you could tell us uh, one by one uh, the main differences between the character that you portray on the TV show and how are you really in real life? Um, my character in the TV show is very, uh, he's very energetic. Uh, you know, he's always jumping around and uh, getting himself into some sort of trouble. Um, I think the difference between like, like me and the character is that I'm more of the, of the mommy for the group. So I kind of take care of, of, of like all the boys, and uh, as you'll hear from Logan, he's kind of like my character in, in, in real life. He's, he's like the crazy one, so that's the, the uh, differences. Um, I played James Diamond on the show, and uh, the better chance I have to sing and perform and act for the rest of my life. So, um, you know, he, uh, he's a lot of fun to play because he's over the top, but James Diamond is very different than James Haslett. Bueno, eh, Carlos por su parte dice, mi personaje en, el, en la serie es muy energético, siempre se está metiendo en problemas, es una gente muy activa, y yo la verdad en el grupo soy como la mamá del grupo, soy la que se, los está cuidando todo el tiempo, y eh, quien está pensando y, y preocupándose porque todo el mundo esté bien. Eh, por, eh, por lo que se pueden dar cuenta es que en realidad Logan es como mi personaje en el grupo. Eh, James, por su lado, dice, creo que la gran diferencia entre... Yo, bueno, se parecen en el sentido de que los dos somos gente como muy orientada, con, eh, con mucho empuje. Lo que pasa es que el empuje de James, mi personaje, viene de la fama, de, de querer la fama y el éxito. Y por otro lado, yo, James, mi, mi persona o yo, eh, es, me guía el sentido de, de hacer esto porque lo amo, porque quiero estar en esta carrera muchísimos años porque amo lo que hago y porque creo que si me dedico en este momento y en, y, y en estos días a hacer lo que me gusta de la mejor manera, entonces voy a poder estar en esta carrera durante largos años. Uh, my character, I played Kendall Knight on the show, and I guess I'm probably 
the most like my character because he's the least crazy of all four, and he almost kind of he kind of keeps the reins and makes sure everyone like if there's a big fight, he'll be the one to make sure that it's mediated. Um, in real life, I guess I'm kind of the same. I'm pretty relaxed. I don't really get too worked up very often. Um, but I guess the difference for all of us mainly is the characters just have a lot more.
you know, we're all very spontaneous. Um, myself, I, I'd love to go like uh, go karting. Um, you know, something fun and active. So uh, you know, dinners are nice, but it can get awkward. So if you go to the beach, you hang out in a group of friends. I think that's a good way to get to know somebody. I uh, I've gone on a date one time where I went horseback riding, and it was really fun. It was quite romantic. Well, we're in Mexico, so I think finding a girl here that knows the city really well and shows me around and uh, is able to, you know, I guess hang out and have fun and, and do things that are spontaneous is this guy. Could always be good. Hey, this guy. Uh, Thank you. 